I mean, still, you've got to wonder if she's just a precursor boss. <laughs> or if we get access to a new round table hold kind of place. Another grace right here. Because, I mean, they've given us the remembrance, but... Detour ahead. Eh, maybe not. I'm going to wrap things up for this session very soon. That was a, a very necessary win there. But I'm just trying to see if we can find what we're supposed to do with this remembrance. Like, obviously, I can just head back to the round table anyway, but. Um, just don't know if I'm missing something. So yeah, I do wonder if people are going to struggle more with that boss or with the lion boss. I'm not sure if uh, they're of equal standing in terms of difficulty. I'd be curious to see how many runes uh, you get for the win. I guess we're continuing on here. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot. Oh yeah, 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 we've done this bit. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I shouldn't have come down here. I'm not about to lose all my runes. Get up. Get up. I think I'm going to rest at this grace. Um, I think I'm going to go to the round table hold, see if Enya will say anything, because obviously... You gotta wonder, since it's still connected to the main game, do we get anything new from her? The finger reader. Well, you managed to return. You know what this means. The earth tree has burned you. It's no matter. My Okay, so she hasn't said anything new for a second. I wondered if it was something new, but that's still from the main game. But yeah, the Twin Moon Knight. Uh, the power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Reader, alternatively Great Bounty. Yep. Once a Karian princess, Relana disavowed her birthright and chose to stand at Mesmer's side instead knowing full well that not even the brilliance of the moon could grant him succor, succor, succor. <laughs> Before long, she became known as the Sword of Mesmer. So, I do like, I do like this. I do want to dabble more with twin blades, as in literal twin blades, as opposed to the twin blade. Um... Yeah, we're not going to be able to use that anyway, so this is the right choice. And it only requires a 16. That's pretty nice. Uh, sure. Kind of forgot about that. And I've got the rest of them. Now, collect the words. So... So they appear as one. That's weird. Let me quickly... There's probably two entries for the sword, but one, one has two pictures. Yeah, it says weight eight, so I assume it's just one. That's weird. Two swords is a single armament. When two-handing, a straight sword engraved with golden flame will be carried in the left hand. Here and here alone, moon and fire ever together. Were moon and fire ever together. That's dope. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, look at that. Okay, yeah, I, I think I'm going to rock these for a little while. That's so cool. Okay. First of all, let's get that faith to 24, finally. So I don't have to wear this uh, thingy anymore, the helm. And I don't need any faith-boosting 
um, stuff to do the incantations I want. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, these two are a bit much together. Weight 8.5. The hatchet is light. Might be able to get away with it. Yeah. Might just have to rock these for a while and sort out my intelligence stat. That'll get me there. Wait, something does give me a plus intelligence here. I know it does. Yeah. Yeah. This one gives me more endurance as well. And more stamina. So, yeah, we'll go for that. Oh, our gangster. Okay. Alright, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. Uh, I wrapped things up at the end of the last session having beaten Relana, my first major boss of the DLC. And so what I did, basically, uh, I didn't play it all over the weekend, I was a bit busy, but it's a Monday morning and I'm ready and uh, raring to go, get back into the action, do much more exploring and fight hopefully some more epic bosses. Now what I did do is make a couple of preparations I'm going to share with you guys before continuing on here. Uh, because obviously during the time that I've had so far, the things that I've learned, they've kind of pointed me in certain directions. And I think it's going to be useful to me. So there were a few ingredients that I was, that I was missing from my playthrough so far that I thought might help if I go and get them uh, in between sessions. So what you're going to see here are a few of those things. First of all, this talisman. Um, we've already seen the first enemy I found, like the, the major one, the dancing lion. That guy has... Um, has a lot of elements but it includes lightning and I realized one I didn't have this anyway which I really kind of wanted uh, against Rolana and two I didn't have this one uh, the holy damage uh, negation there might be something that does holy damage even though it seems like a bit of a unholy area and also there is this one that I didn't have from before and I think even this one so I was missing a bunch of like damage negation talismans and especially when you're rocking like new game plus in the DLC I think any kind of boost you can take to um, you can have to your defenses I think is going to be smart so uh, yeah I went back and I got some of the the talismans that I was missing now another one that I've been noticing in general I've, I've mentioned the word poise a lot and it feels to me like one way in which they're trying their hardest to balance the DLC on the more difficult end of the spectrum they've been watching people play through the game they know what strategies people are using and what works well and having these kind of really big strong colossal sword heavy armor like giga chad kind of builds they tend to rip through a lot of the game and i think they make their bosses extra poisy as a result in the dlc so that there's less chance that you can bully them unless you have a really specific build and so i think one area where i'm generally lacking is poise because my build isn't specifically geared towards being the most strongest heaviest like pure strength endurance wear the heaviest armor wield one colossal weapon i've got a friend who's rocking two colossal weapons and the Solitude armor. So he's got like 80 endurance and he's rocking that kind of build and he's got two colossal swords. And so I'm very far away from that. And so maybe a talisman like this can help to kind of um, like kind of level the playing field a little bit with poise because I'm just getting interrupted so much and it's very hard to kind of trade with the bosses uh, if you're just, if you don't have the poise. And so that's, a, that's another thing. Um, I think other than that, I'm a few levels higher in farming for all of that stuff. I did gain uh, some more levels, especially because it's New Game Plus. I got a lot more runes. And so I've been feeding everything into Endurance at the moment. Um, I am wanting to basically equip heavier armor and have bigger poise and, uh, and that kind of thing. So that's a general idea. I don't want to turn this into like a build where I have like two colossal swords and just like bonk everything to death. That's just not been my style in the playthrough. Um, I'm going to try my best to keep to the, the weapons that I've been enjoying. But uh, another thing I also did was to uh, upgrade some of the weapons in advance. So because I can buy a lot of the smithing stones, uh, 1 through to 9 from the round table hold, I basically use some of my excess runes to, to get some of these weapons prepped. And so let's have a look at status. So um, I've been looking into this. I've been trying to understand better like uh, which weapons do the most damage what am i kind of best better off using and my general logic has been that i should probably be using things that the dlc is giving me like there's a reason the dlc has given me what it's given me and i feel like um they're probably going to be of some benefit to me so 
I mean, this is a major like weapon. I have been using basically the twin blade, and I have a little bit of um, dual katana experience in um, in another run that I was doing. So, whoops. I've been trying to learn how to use this. Um, so you press that, and then you can either choose to do this one. Or, if you want to go the fire route, then you press it, and then you do this one. So use a ton of FP, but it gives you two, like, rangy or area of effect options for your attack. And not only that, uh, obviously we can also wield it like this. And so since I've been going for more of a speedier attack style with the twin blades, I feel like this might be a, a, a good weapon for me. So, yeah, those are some of the things that I got up to uh, in between the sessions, and so we're going to get back into it. What I will do is continue exploring around a little bit, and then I want to head back to the lion and try to defeat it. So that's the that's the plan for this session. Um, the lion, I feel like it's probably a, like a, a, a half step down from Rolana, so if I can beat Rolana... I should be able to beat the lion, but this game tends to not work like that, depending on your build and your style. But we're going to see uh, how we do. So, yeah, that's the plan. Uh, definitely want to keep exploring. It's very much like the main game in terms of exploring rewards you quite heavily. Uh, you should be doing that and just generally uh, trying to see if we can find enough, like, uh, skater tree things to, to try and get us through. Now, this is the wrong way I did this last time. I've been trying my best to avoid spoilers. I've muted like a ton of words on my Twitter and stuff, on my on my like uh, Instagram. But it's like it's hard to avoid every single potential spoiler or thing. And one thing I see popping up constantly is explore and for the love of God, get as many of the things as you can, the skater tree thingies. They are your kind of they are the great equalizer here. They are what's going to help you balance out your stats a bit more and actually have a chance of, um, of being able to to progress and complete this DLC, unless you're, like, you know, obviously super duper skilled, which I've demonstrated there. So we're definitely going to continue to explore. I enjoy that stuff anyway. I'm looking for, like, I want to find some caves and catacombs and that kind of thing, and just generally, um, you know, make the best of what the game is giving me. Yeah, so I kept coming here, but I need to go here. And I guess this does lead into a new part of the map, so maybe this isn't the best place to explore. But I also feel like I haven't hit these points. I'm a bit... Like, I don't want to go outside of the map at this point. There's still too much of this whole thing that I've yet to see. So... Mm, let's see, where can we start here? I want to see if I can get out here. I still think there's got to be some way to do that. But maybe we have to get outside of it first. Let's just do that. At least have a glimpse at the next area. <laughs> Skadu Alpus. Yeah, there's a lot of parallels going on between, obviously, the world kind of quote-unquote above and the world below. The whole twin thing is already interesting to me. We had, like, Moongrim's twin. And then we had uh, Renata's twin. Like, there's just a lot of it going on. And so I'm like, what is happening here? Does everyone have a twin? <laughs> Not really sure. But looking forward to finding out more. Yeah, as I say, the plan is not to really go like super hard and just uh, just completely push forward. There's still a lot to do. The plan is to grab more of these. That is the plan. Hello again. Did you meet my compatriots? They're quite the congregation, from places as far and wide as you can imagine. Doubtless it have all come to blows at first glance. Were it not for the charm kindly Mikula put upon us, mm. this is what allows us to serve together. The work of a living god. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Wondering about the horn scent, are you? True enough? In any other circumstance, he'd be at our throats. Long ago, Queen Marika commanded Sir Mesmer to purge the tower folk. A cleansing by fire. It's no wonder the horn scent holds the Ertree in contempt. That aside, 
Man is by nature a creature of conquest, and in this regard, the Tower Folk are no different. They were never saints. They just happened to be on the losing side of a war, but it's still a wretched shame. There you go. Interesting. I'll just see if she has anything more to say. Wondering about the haunt true enough. Okay. Long ago. So yeah. Queen Marika this is obviously the important line here. The tower. A cleansing. It's no wonder though that aside. And in this regard, they will never say it just happened to be on the loop, but it's still a Okay. Happier. Monk missing. Right. Uh, a letter bearing a terse message and an illustration of a monk, his hands held together. Seek me to the east if you wish to pursue the way of the warrior. When you find me, you will challenge me to a bout. There is no need for words. Bam. Okay, so the next fight's already set up for this particular area. You have a knack for timing, my fellow. I found the site of a new cross. Take this. And well, every time we come to a cross, we find a fragment, so it's the game really literally giving you a map of where to go to get stronger. Mikola has said as much himself. He wishes now to throw it all away. He says the act, though undoubtedly painful, will sear clean the Earth Three's wanton sin. The truth of his claim can be found at each cross, which is evidence enough to earn my belief. Very well. Go to the misshapen tree of Umbra. In that forsaken place, blood must spill. The blood of your fellows. They are three faithful. How many fragments do we need for a level up? Yeah, let's go. So yeah, the reason I had these three on there is basically I was trying to have a look at um, the fact that you can arrange it by attack power is pretty nice. I was having a look at the numbers and comparing them and stuff and trying to figure out like truly what is the best option for me. Um, but the Blasphemy Blade being at the top is rather interesting. <laughs> so yeah, it is at the top, but the Geezer's Wheel is in second place. This one hasn't been upgraded fully. I think once it is, it'd be very close to the top. And this one's just a pure beast. So we'll see how it goes. But it's been kind of cool to do it with the twin blade, honestly, because like I think so many, there's so much like, you know, poise and like needing like big colossal great swords and uh, all of that kind of stuff. That doing it with something like a, a twin blade, yes, it has the um, the bleed stuff on it, fine. But it kind of feels a bit more kind of intense and cool to do it with that. I'm gonna keep my bleed. I did dabble with this a little bit as well. I was kind of curious. I feel like this would work great if you could have two of these, because they're light. You could have one light great sword in each hand, and it would be really cool. Like they would play a bit differently. But yeah, I think for now, I'll just stick with these two. Um, yeah, that takes me heavy load. I just like this for sniping stuff out. It's just too useful. I had this on in preparation for the lion. I thought it gives me the best lightning protection, but for now it's not super important. I'm going to drop my poise back down a little bit. Let's see if I can get to medium load. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I think something consuming less FP for now is pretty nice. All right, cool. We'll just go with this for now. Yeah, I'm heading back and trying to get to this bit. If not, then we're going to go down to this part and then start to go down this part of the road. Let's see where we go. Yeah, there is a bit of a thing down here. Ah, our old friends, the lobsters. God damn it, I hate those guys. This is, I think, this is what I was talking about. Also, I wonder if there's invaders in this one. I 
think I'm generally heading in the direction that I want to head to. One more thing I did actually um, is get a few more like crafting pots and stuff. Um, you saw in the last session for people who are generally not that well versed in the game. Um, the pots that I had were very useful, like for afflicting stuff like Scarlet Rock, so I was definitely using those. And so yeah, I wanted to give myself some more of those. So I have um, seven containers now instead of the four that I had before. And I tried to get some toxic mushrooms back so that when I'm facing a new boss, I can actually make use of it. So it definitely did a little bit of leg work before continuing here. Keep going up. Ooh, okay. Tis a trap. And again, it's like, I, I have to keep imagining that the, the, the developers, they're just too smart. They're not going to give you anything here that will be completely useless in the DLC. So I'm trying my best to not like completely ignore what I get. Uh, I'm not saying I'm going to use anywhere near all of them, you know how it is. But I'm trying to remember that it's probably useful. Normal attack triggers a rapid three slash combination. Strong attack triggers a leaping thrust. Usable on light greatsword. See what I mean? So they want you to obviously combine this with uh, the light greatsword that we have, the milady. Cool. I don't have much idea where I'm going, what I'm doing here. Yeah, it still takes me back to an area I don't want to go yet. But I'm not sure I can get down to that bit. It's a whole different like plateau almost. I'm not sure I can get down there yet from here. There's like a Michaelis Cross on this side too. Yeah, maybe not the maybe not the path for me right now. I don't think there's a way down. Okay, I'll come back to this later. I'm going to go to a more obvious exploration point. And go from there. But yeah, for reference, um, the, the friend of mine that has the two colossal swords, he'd beaten, I think, like three of the major bosses in the DLC. And he shared a screenshot, and his armament was 1,350. And he had two of them. So... That should kind of put the power into a little bit of perspective. hard to see the map. Th this dog has been chasing me the entire time.
very dark. But we did find another Michaelis cross, which I'm happy to take right now. Okay, so we're still on the path. definitely head towards the cross. Also interesting was the fact that the Relana armor also had that sign on it. Um, like on the side of the, the helmet, there was the, the crescent shape. Yeah, she's there at, well, yeah, there's someone there at every single one. Oh, this is what I mean. Okay, someone's defeated the lion, clearly. Oh, hello there. Are you the Tarnished? Lady Leda spoke of you. Another Tarnished. Guided here by Mikola the Kind. My name is Teolia. I, too, am Tarnished. And here on kindly Mikola's account. So, well, here's to new beginnings, I suppose. Yeah, so these are probably all going to be quest lines that we could potentially follow. Um, I'm sorry. But, well, I'm not much good at anything is all. I'm as weak as a kitten and thick as two planks. I've always been this way since the very day I was born. I'm afraid the only thing I'm proficient in is... is poison. Sorry. Yeah, we, we, it would help us to get pretty proficient in poison as well. Ah, toxic mushroom. I'm claiming that. We need that for the uh, Scarlet Rot stuff. So that's a good one. Grand powder. Fine. We'll just get it anyway. Just have it. Um, we have a decent amount of... Well, Just give me the word if you need any more poison. Cool. Oh, I forgot to touch the cross for the other one. I've got to remember to do that. Oh, wait, no, it's the same line. Anyway. Okay. What now? Got some poisonous shit going on here. I'm going to go back up and continue down this path, I guess. Definitely want to eventually go back to the line and uh, kill it. I'm almost certain it's going to give me less runes than um, than Rilana. This is so weird.
So, is he talking about a dragon? Because obviously the, the hearts generally tend to be related to dragons. They love a dragon in this game. As long as I don't see any uh, uh, tree avatars and, and uh, the tree spirit thingies, ulcerated tree spirit, whatever, I'd be, I'd be happy with that, I think. So, again, there's a fork in the road here. Um, Follow this path, see if uh, it really is going to lead to a dragon. <laughs> okay. I like these stones. Aha, there you go. We were literally wondering about them. Where is it coming from? Okay. He's a dragon boy. Oh, he touched both. That was really nice. Work. I'm still getting. Uh, this is the first time I'm using it in combat. Still getting used to it. Did something. How do you dodge all of that? Get out of here. Come on, uh. Dodge this. Oh shit. Track it, man. Right. What do we get for that? Nothing? 